Yeah. It's the end of March. So sad. It's business pants. That's not sad. <laughs> woo. Uh, <laughs> you got to throw in yeah. a woo every time. We need this more is, woo. Uh, this is a fantastic Tuesday. Why? We're free flip media. I'm already tongue tied. I'm Damian Rollis. That's Matt Muscardi. Tomorrow's April. Yeah, that's right. this is true. I'm going to give you a quick summation of how I feel right now. I feel nauseous. <laughs> and every time I feel anything now, I worry. And I'm, I'm guessing our, our listeners are in the exact same boat as me. Well, GI well, GI I'm is a my... component of coronavirus. So Oh, don't say that, really? Yeah. But, but you'd have to have other things. You'd have to have like a fever and like it's like fifteen percent of cases or something. I know everything about well, GI because I'm terrified of my stomach. My stomach is a terrible, terrible, terrible beast. Well, let me tell you this: I tried to buy a thermometer over eBay. Uh, it got approved. Told me it was shipping out, and then I got an email two days ago saying that because of what's going on, they can't send me the thermometer. So. And that thing that's going on is, <laughs> uh, Patreon. Oh no! Wait, that's not right. But I'm gonna do that anyway because uh, for lack of I heard another we have segue. A, I heard we have a fifty percent increase in. We're patrons. getting patrons. I mean, there let's are. Just talk, let's just talk in percentage increases. Let's not talk whole numbers. <laughs> What's our percentage increase today? Our percentage increase is a fifty percent increase today. Um, yes. Of, of of people who are awesome, we've effectively right. increased awesomeness by fifty percent. So um, here's here's the deal. We got more patrons. These are people who support the show. You go to patreon.com slash free float media. You can buy us a latte every single month. I mean, one latte a month is not it's, it's not exactly like we aren't the airline industry asking for 50 billion dollars to bail us out of our bad decisions. We are the we are the real human industry asking for a latte a month to bail us out of our decaffeination. That's what we're asking for. So do that. Um, but what do we have on tap for a show today? Cause we do have a show today, which includes March sadness. I'm just going to ring the bell all day. Music. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a, just a few news headlines and then we're going to get right to March sadness. All right, let's do the headlines right now then. Can I hear some something? You got something? Oh, you want? What, what do you want? You want? What a like, bell? Ring, ring a bell? Just anything? I like hearing stuff. Bell, you in? You're in. Uh, in no particular order. I didn't know. I don't even. I didn't know how to do it today. Uh, I just. I'm because I'm again. I'm trying to stay away from all the coronavirus. Because I think people have enough of that. So I didn't. I didn't even know what to do. So I just. But this is what I did. So I'm just going to uh, – this is in no particular order. I'm just going to go from top to bottom. The first story is um, out of CNBC, which says that Microsoft might be the best tech stock in this market. And I only report this story because this is what I said months ago. Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overlook Microsoft. They're, they're incredible somehow. As so that's as That's an, it. That's as an analyst, as an analyst, I have so to I say win. there's some selection bias here. I win. <laughs> Next. Oh, Sadly. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. That's your Sadly, winning bell. I, I don't. I don't like reporting this story, but I'm. I. It deserves publicity. Uh, today is equal pay day for women. Oh, all right. They finally made it. So, no. Go ahead. I need to interrupt you because I saw an amazing st statistics and, and this is called analysis. People, if you're listening to this, you're not getting this kind of analysis anywhere else. I saw an amazing statistic that suggested that women are actually getting hit much less hard during this coronavirus crisis because men are losing $1 and women are only losing 79 cents to every dollar a man is losing. So that's a different way to look at things. Right. <laughs> uh, so what is equal pay day? That, that's, it, it basically it highlights the overall pay disparity between men and women who work full-time in the United States. So 
essentially it means that it would take until March 31st for your average woman to earn as much as a man. So that, that, so that doesn't account for uh, a, a more frightening breakdown when you take it by race. Black women's equal pay day is August 13th. Yeah, whoa, hey. <laughs> Native American so, women, October 1st. And Latina women, November 2nd. It's it just, takes a uh, Latina woman almost two full years to make as much as a white guy. Unless they work in free float media where it takes them zero seconds if they have 0. a job. 0.0. <laughs> yeah. So, no, now we have patrons. So it might take a little bit longer. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about this that um, uh, that I like because there are things to like, um, and it isn't that it isn't the snarky meme that women are now losing less per month than men are. It is that post financial crisis, w women saw some of the biggest gains in job opportunities, in uh, pay, in closing the pay disparity gap, and. And when I say biggest gains, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like it went from, you know, 50 cents to 80 cents on the dollar. But there were pay gap disparity closings. And women actually, there were, if you remember, there were this this rash of like uh, conversation about how um, it, that ultimately sort of led to the Trump-like people being elected, that white men were starting to be excluded from the job market because women were more educated sure. and they got more, they, they retained their jobs longer after the crisis and they got more new jobs than white men did. There is actually reason to think that um, when the market like does flight to safety, you're talking about Microsoft, which is a long, mature, you know, safe looking company that will exist after this crisis is over. Flight to safety for labor might actually be women now. Now, this does not include black women and Latino women necessarily, but it does suggest that post-crisis, women fare better than men do. Men mostly complain. They mostly pay for their short-term thinking. Like me at the top of the show, yeah. And women, you know, kind of fare better. So um, something to watch as we sort of transition from utter fear panic to uh, panic tunity which we talk a lot about here panic tunity i'm going to make a threat to our listening audience oh please patron. do no this is a good idea that that i'm not going to quit doing this until we get the the u.s ceo women rate <laughs> that's a that's a clunky <laughs> sentence up from 4.9 percent to I, I want to go for forty percent. Look, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit here until it's a forty percent. Can I put a call out to anybody who's listening? D nobody. Yeah. Um, if you're, I think we should get a woman CEO, one of the four point nine percent, to come on this show and talk about. I don't want to talk about like um, how you ascend to be a woman CEO. I'd like to talk about how you govern. Just. Because I actually think we get a lot of books and talking points about, you know, men in leadership talking about, you know, basically whipping out their dicks and talking about how big they yeah. are. It's their like hero stories, like somehow they're, they're, they're firefighters. Somehow. I don't want to lean in bullshit conversation. I want to just how you actually when you sit down and you think about like the people around you, how do you think about them? And then let the public decide whether thinking differently matters. Can we do that? Let's do that. Oh, you're, you're being bizarrely hopeful and optimistic today. I'm feeling good today. I, my kids seem to be right, learning something this morning. So, all right, let's do it. Yeah, I'll bring you down a little bit. All right, the, make me feel the, terrible. The EPA <laughs> announced that companies, right? Companies will now be responsible for monitoring their own air and water pollution oh yeah no that the, worked this worked so well for the COVID big tech pandemic. that's worked yeah. well for big tech so, um, so that's what's going on because okay. of the COVID 19 pandemic companies themselves will be responsible for monitoring their own air and water pollution so that's a win for nobody did i bring you down just go to the next uh, story. i'll move on <laughs> williams sonoma and pottery barn uh, it's the same unit. Williams, Williams Sonona, and its Pottery Barn unit, yeah, unit, have agreed to stop, have agreed to stop making unsubstantiated 
made in America claims and to pay $1 million in fine. So they were basically lying about some of their products being made in America. They got called out and they're fine to suck that William Williams Sonoma. Wait a minute. It wasn't made in America. <laughs> I just love that. I love that the companies think they should lie about this shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, they sh- that cost them $1 million. How much do you think they sold yeah, right. on the back of saying yeah. it was made in America? Probably more. So this is called speeding a, ticket economics. Here's why I picked out the story. I just, I just like this flow of sentences. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission, which investigates companies that make deceptive claims, said... William Sonoma had said that it's gold touch bakeware rejuvenation products in some pottery <laughs> barn teen and kids furniture were made entirely in the United States. In fact, the FTC said the products were made outside the United <laughs> States and contain significant imported elements. So there you go. Can can you name that first product again? Because that was something special. That would be gold touch bakeware rejuvenation products. <laughs> right, let's move on. Ding. <laughs> Hit the bell. A barrel of oil is now cheaper than a pint of beer in Canada. Ooh. Not as delicious. All right. Ding me out. Beat, <laughs> beat me out. Please. Ring the bell. All right. I just got to call out. I want to call out Disney a little bit here. So the, the headline, speaking of white male heroism waving their blanks around. Uh, uh, can't say dicks on this podcast well, that's, that's, that's what you're here for okay, so okay. here's the story is that bob Iger, who's you know, still still obviously in charge will forgo his salary right kendall bob and, no salary and the new ceo bob chapek bald bob will take a 50 percent uh salary cut i, I just want to i just want to remind people okay is it, that's like a fart in the wind is what that is that's yeah. you just so, like I'm putting that about- out there I want to talk about Bob Iger. Uh, he, let's uh, talk about Bob. He has averaged over fifty-five million dollars, basically, in pay over the last three years. Yeah, uh, he and his salary is at three million, so he's reducing it by one one and a half million. Uh, so that's it. So let me inject some lack of snark <laughs> for a second. Oh, wait, no, no. I want to. I want to say one more thing. Okay, to finish the snark, and then you, I'll get into it. Before you hold me down. No, this is not snark. This is. Uh, this is all, okay. It's it's fact based snark. Can I just say that. <laughs> this here's is, what else. <laughs> this is like if Ethan Hawk read the doing. news. Here's what else Bobby is doing, and this is straight from the SEC, straight from a filing that I found today. This was not in the news article, but I I really I had to point this out because it's so it's such a, a hero move. Bob is also waiving his right to receive his car allowance payable. No. During the same period, the salary <laughs> waiver is in effect. That seriously, that I, I, that's yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, cut me, cut me down. So there is there is the element of the, so Bob Iger, he got a forty six percent negative vote on his pay, which might as well be. I mean, the, it forty six percent of the of the market of proxy voters paying attention to something. It might as well be all of them because most of them are asleep at the wheel. So that's a stunning amount of we don't like how much you get paid. And it's not the first time on this show we talked about going back to like 2012 that it's consistently above 20 or 30 percent. Like nobody likes how much he got paid, including the perks. So um, so it's nice to see that come down. However, there is a reality in which think about Disney, the company. Okay. Their employees, effectively, uh, the arms of Disney, their parks are closed. Nobody, no one's gathering in like more than like a, a two people at a time. Like my family and like staying home breaks coronavirus uh, uh, rules and regs right now because there's five of us. Um, they, uh, the, the ESPN, ABC content side, there is nothing to watch except news. Nobody wants, there's no sports. There's no nothing. It's just talking heads. They cannot pivot quickly into real guerrilla content the way a lot of other places can, um, uh, like smaller operations. So there's no content coming out of it. When the leaders take a haircut like this and do it publicly, 
it does have a positive effect on the the morale of the employees who are still getting paid as if to say like okay management's going to take you know as you we're going to take nothing this? huh yeah you have proof of this morale no. effect well there's i mean how often does this happen but uh yeah I, but i think what you're going to see is when these companies actually suggest this and we'll go i'll go backwards and i'll actually see if i can find real numbers around this but i think what you'll see is the employees actually feel like, well, at a bare minimum, at a bare minimum, the leaders are taking cuts before we are or taking bigger cuts than we are. Now, it doesn't discount the fact that if you made $50 million a year, you know, uh, you taking a haircut up to zero and still having your $120 million mansion and your coronavirus free yacht um, it still pales in comparison to somebody making 60 grand a year working in a studio bay, taking a 20% haircut who then no longer can make their mortgage. All right. I get that. But at, a, at least the, me the signaling is right. At least the signaling is right. Like, wow, you're being, I don't even know who you are today. I'm happy Matt today because All I right. had my coffee super late. I had to, my kids actually were winning gold stars for paying attention to their work. Okay. Um, so right. enjoy it. It's a rare moment. <laughs> the, si the signaling is right. I, I, that's, I, I, I don't even know if I, I mean, optics, I'm not baby. I'm all about the optics today. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm talking to. Uh, all right. Uh, also, you know, I, as a, as a humorous aside, Fiat Chrysler CEO to have his salary for three months. So there you go. Uh, here's another headline. See how Matt spins this in a positive way. <laughs> Amazon warehouse worker in New York fired for leading coronavirus protests. Okay. This that's, one I can't spin. That's uplifting. This one, this one, this is like special outrage machine. I don't even want to get into it because it, wait, it, I'm in a good wait, place. Wait, wait. Is Amazon still alive in a March Madness tournament? Amazon is out. Twitter upset them last round. Oh, oh, so they were already out. They're already out. Otherwise, they would be killing this, could have been this good week. For them. Okay. They would have killed right. this week. So my last story. Hold on. D bring the bell into my last story. Now you do your last story. Wait, what is pre-production for? What do you? Uh, we don't do pre-production anymore because now you're doing home care. You're and, not supposed to say uh, that live on air. This is oh, where yeah, right. people Sorry. people I do believe this is a slick show. Oh, I've been doing pre-production, but I have no one to talk to. So, <laughs> finally, uh, the the internet is angry at uh, another billionaire. What? David I'm, Geffen. I'm incredulous. Was a net worth of about eight billion dollars. Faced swift backlash after he shared a photo on Instagram that showed himself isolating on his five hundred and ninety million dollar super yacht. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then soon thereafter, Geffen uh, pulled a billionaire snowflake and deleted his Instagram account. So there you go. <laughs> Jesus, that, yeah, can't make this shit up. That's fucking genius. <laughs> yeah. I take it well, back. Well, Everything I've, I just said about Bob Iger, I take back. One thing I've learned about doing this show is that billionaires need like a better PR uh, marketing firm. The uh, how about I'd settle for any. I mean, other than Bill Gates, he seems to figure out how to. He has a soothing voice. So, all, right, that's it. That's anti, all right, well, let's go into uh, March sadness. All right. Yeah. Get jacked. Oh, that really March, March, March. Sadness, sadness, sadness. Thank you, CBS, for the uh, for allowing us to steal your music directly from YouTube. But today, it was the Elite Eight met from March Sadness. Um, okay. The matchups included um, some heavyweights. You had a one-two seed matchup in uh, the Apology Tour division. You had a um, a uh, number two versus number four. In the CEO's rule division, you had a one-two in the fake public division, and then you had a four-two in the uh, stakeholders rule division. We're going to go one at a time, and I actually want to talk a little bit about these because there were some, there were some upsets. So let's start right. in our apology tour division. Boeing. I mean, fair to say Boeing's our all-time favorite team. 
Or is it Facebook? Let's come back around on that. That seems like a debate worth having. Well, yeah, okay. Um, Boeing faced uh, Wells Fargo uh, today in uh, the Apology Tour division. And I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to build up a lot of suspense here. Wells Fargo upset Boeing. Well, again, we have a buddy who picked Wells Fargo to go all the way to the finals, right? So an upset maybe only to us. Our wait, wait, wait. First of all, we had Wells Fargo to number two seed. So is that really an upset? I guess it's not really an upset, but it was actually really, really close. Yeah. So um, Wells Fargo. Uh, 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 Boeing obviously took the uh, worst stock performance. Now, just as a reminder to anybody who, who hasn't been paying attention to this, which how dare you? But uh, the scoring here works. F- um, there's three scoring components. You can win. You get three points. Each team can get three points max. It is the biggest stock drop or lowest stock gain. So the worst stock performance over since, the uh, since the last game. So the, the right, so since March 25th. So yeah. March 25th. Um, when our last round was, uh, the, uh, and then it's two sets of Google trends. One is the name Mm -hmm. of the company. So it would be Boeing and the word controversy, um, versus Wells Fargo and the word controversy. So more people searching for Boeing controversies versus Wells Fargo controversies. And then my favorite point, which is, um, the Google trend for the uh, search term Boeing sucks versus Wells Fargo sucks. Uh, what we found here. Um, is actually uh, Boeing took the stock drop. They were down 4%, uh, little, roughly, uh, a little bit more than 4%. But Wells Fargo ekes out Boeing on both Wells Fargo controversy and Wells Fargo sucks. Now, I would have <laughs> thought, thought that Boeing yeah. sucks would have t- taken this week, and they would have well, gotten the win. That's what well, seems the upset to me because it was close. Yeah, I mean, Wells Fargo's been in the news recently, right, for sucking. But they didn't suck; they clawed back. Like who's yeah, who's but like it draws it draws attention to the, to the that they recently sucked. I I, I guess I guess you that's only true. claw back under extreme circumstances, which means which you know means they sucked. Is that, anyway. that that's what it means? All yeah. right. So so what we end up with here is um, a big fat. Boeing with the victory and um No, no, Wells Fargo. Oh sorry, upset. Wells Fargo with the victory, yeah. correct. Uh I'm well, not calling that a huge upset. I, I but yeah, it's an upset certainly. I I I feel like um it feels upsetting to me. I really thought yeah, that's Wells because Fargo any, was gonna anything that goes against any decision you make you feel like is upsetting. That feels like, like if you want to have if you want to have macaroni and cheese <laughs> are you playing me out if you want to have macaroni and cheese for dinner and the rest of your family wants like uh, i'm an analyst chicken i only make upset. look i'm as blowhardy an analyst as they come i only make correct decisions let's move on yeah, to our next, our next round our next next game it. here we go next our next game um in the CEO's room. Ooh, yeah, this is a big one. Division. Twitter versus Apple. Twitter I'm versus excited. Apple. Now, this felt heavyweight to me. We expected yeah. it to be Amazon. Everybody who picked the bracket that we saw had Amazon in this slot. Amazon was a heavy favorite going into this because Jeff Bezos is Lex Luthor, and it's really hard to picture anybody else Pretty toppling Lex. Every day. Yeah. Especially given the fact that um, that now we've got like massive Amazon controversies because 19. Protests. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna no lean in for this. Six times yep. 19 Amazon facilities, their yeah. warehouses, have people who have tested positive for coronavirus, right. and, and the company fault, fired the guy who yeah. was trying to organize a strike to say we need better protections for coronavirus. Right. Do you want to know what they said they fired him for? Yeah, actually, I know the answer, but go ahead. They fired him for breaking the six foot distance rule for coronavirus. That was the, they broke yeah. his the uh-huh. quote unquote protocols of safety for coronavirus as he's organizing to get better safety for Corona. Could you get more unironically terrible than that? Congratulations, well, Amazon. You yeah. would have taken this week like it wouldn't have even been close. But here we are. 
Okay. Yeah, it's 2020 in corporate America, so they know that nobody's going to care because yeah. they want to order plastic uh, dice. I desperately I mean, should we should have put Amazon in stakeholders rule because they won stakeholders um, yeah. this week. But let's not forget that 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 uh, I said that it wasn't Jeff's fault that those there's night there's 19 cases 19 warehouses have cases of coronavirus. But then again. They don't have paid time sick leave, right? Yeah, whose fault is so, it? They pee in right. water bottles because they don't get bathroom breaks. They actually breaks. have to show up. Uh, yeah, maybe it is Jeff's fault. All right. So but, anyway, Twitter okay. versus But it's Twitter Apple. versus Apple. So um yeah. uh because we had an upset last week. And 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 this week um Apple's a two seed. This week we also have an upset as Twitter swept Apple this week. That does not surprise me either. Now, it doesn't really surprise me once Amazon got unseated, but the mm. the level. So Twitter, um, obviously. What's yeah? But what's Apple doing wrong right now? Like, why, why would Apple's avoided controversy? Apple I expected yeah. Twitter to take Twitter controversy versus Apple controversy in Google Trends, and they did. They did by a forty-five to eleven margin. So that was a Twitter kicked Apple's ass at controversy searches this week. Congratulations, Twitter, for being good at something. But they eked out, actually. It was closer than I expected. Twitter sucks versus Apple sucks. It was only a 38 to 24 margin. Twitter eked that out. Like, it was closer than I would have expected. And then Twitter did not. Twitter down one in, uh, about 1.5% over the last since the, the last games. And Apple's actually up almost 4%, uh, 3 and a quarter. Or three and three quarters, rather. So, of course, cause what what better time to invest in Apple than now? Well, you're you, an investment in Apple is not an investment in uh, the future of their widgets, and it, it's an investment in the fact that that company has two hundred sixty billion dollars in cash. That's exactly why you're investing in Apple, because you know they can survive to the other end of this thing, because they have so much money. Must so, be nice to be able to afford a share of Apple. You know what? You know, I'm sure David Geffen. Um, He's going to make it out of the other end of this thing because he can always sell his his yacht if he needs to. Um, so let's go. Let's. All right. So we got. OK, so it's Twitter. It's Twitter, Wells Fargo, right? Moving on to the final four. Uh, Twitter and Wells Fargo up against each other in the final four. Who, who April, you got? Who you got in that matchup? April 3rd on Friday. I have no idea. How about that? I, you I know sh- what? We I got, should know this. Let me look. Let me look. I got both wrong. Um, going into the final, had, my final yeah, four is totally wrong. wrong. I, I, had, I had Boeing, Amazon. Yeah, as did I. Um, and now that it's Twitter, Wells Fargo, I think Twitter is the team to stop. I cannot see Twitter. I think Twitter just sucks so much in this. I don't know. I believe in Wells Fargo. I mean, <laughs> we, but we had them at a number two seed for a reason. They're, they're, they're just so good at sucking. I mean, they, they have been for years. I... This is, I, I this is why we you, put them in a two seed. The we put numbers them above, don't feel good for them. We put them above, above companies that start fires. We put them above, you know, companies that give away all your your financial info. Uh, we we put them above companies that put asbestos and baby powder. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's how <laughs> there much are a lot we of think those. they suck. Right. So I'm saying, like, we really we ha- we do believe in their suckitude. We do. So I, I don't. Yeah. I, I I they're a dark horse. I just think that they can they can keep going. I think. I. I am skeptical here. All right. All right, but let's go look at the other, the other, the yeah. let's go look at the uh, the east. Okay, we just fake did the public. west. We're gonna do the east, and we're gonna look at the yeah. fake public companies. Okay, um, hold on, we need. Let's get jacked up. Yeah, baby, fake public. These are companies that if you invest in, you have absolutely no rights. So congratulations for your making a meaningless investment. And, you know, Facebook in the news for bringing on uh, new, do we air quotes this? Lead independent director? Is that like worth the air quotes? Uh, yes. Because um, uh, Kimmet was the former tre- uh, treasury secretary under H.W. Uh, Bush. No, uh, not H.W. I think just W. Dubs? I think, yeah, just Dubs. Uh, well, he's... You know, pick a bush, whatever. All right. uh, and uh, now going to uh, be lead, like lead, quote unquote, independent, quote unquote, hand selected by Mark Zuckerberg, no air quotes, director. So Facebook was in the news up against Google. Facebook is one, two, 
and you will be happy to know Facebook lost in a sweep. What? They lost Are you kidding me? in a sweep to Google. Wow, that surprises me. Google controversy won 50 to 17 up against over Facebook. Wow. Google sucks versus Facebook sucks. Google sucks 56 to 23. What? And Google only up 4%. Facebook was up 6.24%. Wow. I am floored. Floored. This was, I mean, this is a one, two seed, right? To, to your point, should this shouldn't feel like controversy, but that seems like, look, I mean, Duke, uh, Duke loses. They don't win every year. Like that's, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I, they're the favorites, but they don't, they just don't win every year. It's just the way it is. That seems stunning to me. I, which brings me actually to uh, a reality check in this in this tournament because Boeing or Facebook do seem to be the cultural zeitgeist losers of the the last year and a half, right? I mean, if you had to pick one company out of this entire tournament that sort of is captured, uh, what would you call it? Public attention for sucktitude. Like, yeah. like the reality bites of companies. Yeah. Who would that be to you? It, it's either Boeing or Facebook. I think I have to oh, go Facebook. Facebook. I yeah, think it's, it's got to be Facebook, right? And here's why I say it's Facebook every time, because they just, they don't do, they don't provide anything. Well, they literally do nothing right. And, and they give us nothing. And they have net, their net social negative, right? Like, like there, are, <laughs> there are so many tools that I use through Google services. So many tools. So... I, I don't know, but Google Google took this round. So congratulations right. to Google. Yeah, that, that's why we play the games. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> you play to win the games. That's why. By the way, can I, just, can I just say how easy it is to like mislead people? Here, In general, are you misleading me now? Yeah. What's going on? Here's, here's the reality of Robert Kimmett, who is being touted in the press as the former uh, Secretary of Treasury under George W. Bush. But here's the reality. Kimmett served as acting secretary of the treasury from Friday, June 30th until Monday morning, July 10th under George W. Bush. So actually he was the secretary treasury for 11 days. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So this is uh, things just get misconstrued. And so that's the actual fact there. Just not that anybody cares, but that's the reality of, of uh, Mr. Kimmett, the new leader. That's the single greatest reality I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I can't believe there they didn't go. win that game. All right, moving on. Last game. I need more. All right, last game here. This, so this is the this will be the team that will face Google. This right? will be the team facing Google to come out of the East. Okay. Um, and set our final four. The game was McDonald's, a four seed versus McDonald's. Uber, a two seed. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good matchup. I don't know, I don't know where that's going. This one was hard for me to pick too. Um, I would, I guess Uber, but I don't know. And, I, and I, yeah, I picked Uber also. Uh, I just thought Uber, Uber's got that you know little extra something of terribleness that Mickey's can't kind of keep up with. Mm-hmm. But the answer here, and the, which is correct, because. Uber sucks, as a search term, trounced McDonald's twenty to nil. Okay, and that's that's saying a lot because I I've eaten at McDonald's within the last year and it sucks. <laughs> McDonald's has a certain penchant for sucking. So, but yeah. McDonald's actually ekes out a win here. They eke out a win. Oh, McDonald's right. controversy the search term fourteen to ten beats Uber, which is hard for me to believe. But um, they also had a smaller. Um, stock uh really? return three huh. percent to by by almost by almost half three or more than half three wow. percent to six and a quarter so is mcdonald's open now like are they doing like drive through or i don't even know Do you i know? think they drive through and they shoot the food out with like one of those t-shirt cannons so that there's okay. no no one right touches into your it. mouth <laughs> like, yeah so you don't actually have to touch the food either and uh, Uber's either running. that or you have to get the food and go home and wash it for 20 seconds under, you know, do your ABCs and make sure you get the meat clean. But Uber's running, right? Uber is running. And 
I thought but who's Uber. Going? Where, but where are we going? Wasn't who's this going Uber? Anywhere? Wasn't this Uber's to lose at this point because they they pleaded with the Trump administration to bail out their workers who they don't actually claim as workers. You'd think that that would. I mean, maybe that shows up in the Uber sucks category, like like why does Uber suck so much as a search term? But it I just not. opened my Uber app and the, and the first thing that popped up was travel only if necessary. Oh, it's nice of them to tell us that. Yeah. Well, I'm sure McDonald's isn't saying anything good. McDonald's is saying, open your mouth. We will shoot yeah. the food in with our T-shirt cannon. Yeah. They're probably saying, like, our food is going to get you sick anyway in the first place. So yeah, what, what's the point? Why stop ordering? Yeah, actually, exactly. you know, in a, in, a, in a weird way, McDonald's is actually sort of well positioned here. Because if you, if you think about what happens during – now I'm going to be sad to end the show. Thanks. Um, but you think about what happens during, like, recessions or depressions – uh, people who can't you – know, McDonald's is so cheap that there tends to actually be, you know, when you're below a certain income level and you don't have as many options in f- food that's healthy, McDonald's is actually a choice. It's a real choice. You can get some cheaper food. So there you go. Not – not uh, they're not out of contention here, which right, – So who's our final four? Okay, who's so let's, let's put the music back on. Yeah. Our final four – being played on April 3rd. You have Wells Fargo coming out of the West up against Twitter, who trounced Apple. That's that's our uh, that's a two that's a two seed two against a, a four a, a five seed. Sure, yeah, five yep. seed. And then you've got Google coming out of the East, another two seed against McDonald's, a four seed. Google Mickey D's. All right, so let's pick. Forget about what you picked originally. Let's uh, let's do a quick pick. Let's do a final four pick here. All right. McDonald's uh, versus Google. Who, who you got? Google. There's not even there's not even a question. Google wins this uh, one. Yeah. Uh, why do, why does Google suck? You think because people are using their products more and they're just it's pissing people off? I think you know every half the kids in the in the United States right now are using Google Classroom and every parent right now is frantically writing Google sucks. Full disclosure, we use Google Duo routinely for our pre-production meetings, and it has sucked <laughs> the last couple of weeks, and we've stopped using it, basically. We, we have. We're on Skype. We're on so. Skype now. Although we should move to uh, Zoom. And Zoom seems to work better. But, but Zoom is having, like, other problems. Like, they're, get, they're sending your data to Facebook without permission, and there's, like, porn Zoom bombing where people are hacking in and showing porn. I'm excited Maybe about that. Problem. If that happened in a pre-production meeting, is that a bad thing? All right. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go McDonald's just because I, I want McDonald's to suck more. You're going to go Google. I'm Who going we have Google. The other and and, and the other side Twitter. is Wells Fargo and Twitter. I'm going to ride Wells Fargo here. And you're so wrong go twice. Fargo, Tw- Twitter. The, the final is going to be Twitter and Google. And um, I think I'm riding Twitter all the way now all right i mean so I'm, yeah i'm gonna say mcdonald's for the win just to be a contrarian so that's what we got that's our show today you got anything else to add as we outro no. here no. you feeling nauseous you just need to go lay down yeah i am but it hasn't been the easiest uh i fought through it yeah. i'll be all right true fight i need a sandwich that's mm-hmm. what you need you also need a latte so go to patreon.com slash free float media and send us lattes every month to keep oh this going. Yes. By the way, um, this seems confessional. Keep talking. I'm gonna look something up. <laughs> yeah. No, keep talking. I want to look something up. That was Damian Rollins. I'm Matt Miscardi. We are Free Float Media. This was the Business Man's Podcast. It's March 30th, 2020. 31st, 2020. Um, if you like what you heard, please subscribe, share, tell not just one friend, but all your friends, because. I'm telling you right now that if you want genius in your earballs, if you want free free range analysts, not analysts tethered to some massive organization telling you whatever, you know, random agenda that they happen to have, telling you what's newsworthy and what isn't, you want like real analysis, this is where you can get it. And our patrons get to ask us questions whenever they want about whatever they want. We just did a show for patrons only about Trump's approval polls and we looked through the history of approval polls we did some data diving you know it's you have access to basically people who built the sausage that is the ESG and sustainability community ratings 
everything you hear about sustainability, we help build a lot of that. I, well, that sounds really egotistical. Maybe not everything, well, but sorry, a lot. Be, it, be, be egotistical. Lead with confidence. But, the, okay, but so, we were a big deal. So, Satironomics, whatever the hell that is, if you're listening, be a, become a patron. There you go. I don't know what <laughs> da, Damien's speaking another language now, but I'm I'm on it. I'm, I'm with it. Satironomics, satirist at Satironomics. Yeah, I don't know what it is. My point is, come here. Content's great. And don't just keep it to yourself while you're holed up. You know, you've got shit on in the background. You don't know what's, you know, you're bored out of your mind because you actually don't, you're realizing you don't like your job. You like being home more than you like your job. That Those are all things we're waking up to with COVID-19. When, when you do that, give us a five star, send us to a friend. And then because uh, either because I'm begging you to, or you actually like it. Either way, it's a win for us. But thanks for joining us. And thanks to our team here, the two Courtney's, Dan Rogoshnik, uh, John Walsh, and Todd Hovannik, doing all the work that they did for us to make this show even possible. Um, and uh, we'll be back at you tomorrow with more, should I say genius? More genius, right? I was going to say crud, but I think genius has a better ring to it. All right. Let's go with cruddy genius. Thanks, Damien. See you, Matt.